Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So today when I was sitting down to decide what to film for today's video, I had two ideas that came into my mind and I wasn't sure which one to go with. But my first thought was my experience on COVID-19, sharing that with you guys. I'm not sure if you'd be interested in hearing about that, but let me know in the comment section. We did have it back in October. So we were quarantined over Halloween and didn't do anything. But um, the other idea that I had was sharing my goals for 2021 with you guys. So these are things that I have already started working on and I'm just hoping to continue working on them. Um, I think we can all agree that 2020 was a rough year for a ton of different reasons. And so my biggest, my biggest goal for 2021 is to just really focus on my own well-being and trying to take care of others as well. So with that, the first thing that I have as a massive goal is to really take care of my body. And that kind of goes with a bunch of different littler goals. So I want to get back in shape. I do enjoy running quite a bit. And then I've also started doing some total body workouts as well. And then I also want to eat healthier. That's been a rougher one for me as well. I am not great with portion control, but I've been being more mindful of that recently. And I do have a goal in mind, but because of triggers and everything, I don't want to discuss that part too much with you guys. And then the other one is to really focus more on self care. So making sure that I take time to really kind of wash my face and pamper myself a little bit more than I have in the past. It just kind of makes you feel better. It makes you feel more like a human being and or at least it does for me. Um, but really taking that time to take care of myself and my body and do as much as I can for myself. I think that that's going to be important. And then I also want to minimize all of the stuff around me. This background is probably a little deceptive, but we have way more than we need in this house. And I really need to go through and figure out what things should stay and which things really they would be better suited to a different family. So um, yeah, I have a ton of toys from the kids that they don't play with anymore. So I really need to get those out of here. I've got clothes that need to be donated, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd be interested in seeing like a declutter series, certainly let me know. But as for right now, I need to just clear out some stuff in my house. And then I also want to get back into having a capsule wardrobe. If you've been with me for a while, you've probably seen my capsule wardrobe videos from like four years ago. And that time was amazing. I love capsule wardrobes. I really need to get back into making one. I'm hoping to do a winter capsule wardrobe this year. And it's just so nice to know that you've only got a certain amount of clothes and that they all kind of work together. It makes getting dressed so much easier and with the little kids, it's gonna save me time. So yeah, I really, really need to get back into that. And I just feel like if you have a clean space around you, you're also in a better headspace. So that's why I'm really focusing on that. And then I also want to create more and consume less. So that can apply to all sorts of parts of my life, but the biggest one is for social media. So I want to create more useful content. So more knitting stuff, um, provide more patterns for you guys. I used to write a lot more patterns and this was again, like four years ago before children. Um, but I would like to get back into that. And I also really, I want to consume way less of the negative social media stuff. So the kind of trolls and um, a lot of the political rants are just driving me crazy. So I just need to turn away from that and focus on my own stuff and stay in my own lane. So yeah, um, I want to just, you know, raise my kids to be the best human beings that they can be. And I feel like that's where I have my power anyway. I'm not 
going to be able to influence like the top people in Washington or anything. So if I can provide something good for our planet, then I'm going to do that as much as possible. So yeah, creating more and consuming less. That's a big one. The last big goal that I have is that I want to connect with others more, which has been so difficult this year and I have really missed it. I am by nature more of an introvert, but that human connection is so important. In fact, I watched the second half of Soul today, the new Disney Pixar movie that is out on Disney Plus. I think it released on Christmas Day. Um, my daughter was watching it while I was at a dentist appointment, so I didn't catch the first half, but I saw the second, and that just spoke to me <laughs> where, um, you know, you have these ideas of what you want for life, but then you ignore other things. And that human connection, I think, is so important. And while it is going to probably be my hardest thing to achieve or my, my most difficult goal, I do think it's very, very important. And I'm going to just do my best. It is definitely not my kind of thing, but it's necessary. So those are my big goals for 2021. I'm not going to go into this year thinking that it's going to be the best year ever. I would much rather go into it thinking that I am taking care of myself and my family and doing what I can to help others. So that's my big focus for this year. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Certainly let me know if you have any major goals that you're going to be working on and we can maybe kind of be accountable together. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this new year, even if it's a hard one like this last year was. I'm, I'm just ready to go into it with a fresh mind. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And like I said, if you wanted to see that COVID um, experience video, certainly let me know. Or if you have any other comments, questions, suggestions for videos, anything like that, certainly let me know in the comment section as well. Also, if you have not seen Soul, check it out. It's on Disney Plus and I, I'm really excited to watch the whole thing now because that second part was really cute. However, my daughter. So um, I've heard plenty of times that it might go over little kids' heads and to an extent I think it did, but she, when the movie got over, she looked at me and said, that was a lot like Coco. And I was thinking about it and it's like, it kind of is actually. They are very similar, but yeah, both are very, very cute movies. And if you haven't seen Coco, that's on Disney Plus too. I'm not sponsored. I just really like Disney Plus. Also, if you've made it this far, let me know. Were you able to see this knot that was on my sweatshirt? Both of my kids have colds right now. And I was holding Charlie and he just got snot everywhere. So that was fun. He's actually taking a nap right now, but yeah, it's either going to be relatable or gross. So I'm not going to move my hair. It's I think covering it for the most part. But anyway, <laughs> I am loving my life. I'm not trying to complain about my kids. I just feel bad that they're sick. Anyway, I should probably get going, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.